Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Azure developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to call the Microsoft Graph API from within an Azure function, but they're running into issues with the access token. Let's break down their approach and see where things might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To call the Microsoft Graph API from an Azure function, we need to ensure that we have the correct authentication setup. First, let's review the steps you've already taken. You've configured delegated permissions for Microsoft Graph, which is essential. However, the access token you're using seems to be incorrect. Let's clarify this. The token you received from the request headers is not the standard access token. Instead, you should use the on behalf of flow to obtain a valid access token from Microsoft Graph. Here's the updated function code that implements the on behalf of flow. It retrieves the access token using the ID token. Finally, test your function again. This time, it should successfully call the Microsoft Graph API and return the user profile information. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Azure Functions now supports native authentication for Microsoft Graph. You can find detailed documentation online. There's also a helpful video available that guides you through navigating Microsoft Graph with Azure Functions. To call Microsoft Graph, create an HTTP trigger function and configure it in function JSON to include a token. You can then use the access token to query the Graph API on behalf of the user. Additionally, you can run functions using client credentials authentication, allowing the function to run as an app. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Call the Microsoft Graph API from Azure Functions. Ensure you include the correct access token in your header. You can find more details on how to authenticate in the link provided. If you encounter errors, check out this helpful Stack Overflow post about creating an auth token with the Microsoft Graph API. Potential workaround is to use service principle authentication. This allows your function app to call the Graph API via Azure Active Directory. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.